Hi, my name is Wes on behalf of expertvillage.com and in this video segment I'm going to show you how to grow the Venus flytrap. If you want to know more about carnivorous plants and Venus flytraps, you can visit us at equilibriocarnivorousplants.com. In this video segment, I'm going to talk to you about transplanting your Venus flytrap. Now, there are a few reasons why you would want to transplant your flytrap, but you want to make sure that you're not transplanting it directly after you just bought it. This is usually because the plant can be under some stress after it's been transported, and you don't want to disturb it too much. Usually after the plant has grown for several years and is quite large, like this plant or this one here, it's about time to transplant it to another place. Also, if you want to make a nice centerpiece, we're going to use this bowl here, you can transplant your fly traps. You do want to make sure to note, though, that transplanting your plants will cause them a little bit of stress, and you want to leave them alone for a while after you start transplanting them. So again, we want to use the right kind of soil. Here we have a mixture of peat moss and perlite that's already been moistened. We're going to fill the bowl up about a quarter of the way up. And you want to make sure not to pack the soil down too much. You want to leave the soil nice and loose for the roots of the flytrap. When you start to transplant, you want to be very careful of the leaves of the plant. Gently taking the plant out of its pot, and you want to remove quite a bit of the soil from around the roots of the plant. Here we can see that the actual root ball of the Venus flytrap is extremely small. The roots are very shallow, and they really don't need a whole lot of space for their roots. Here's the rhizome of the plant, which is really the core of the Venus flytrap, this white, fleshy part. So we're going to make a small hole for this flytrap, place it down in the soil, and just bring the soil right around the plant. Nice and easy. You don't want to pack it down too hard. We're going to repeat this part process for each one of these plants. After you've planted the fly traps, you want to make sure to give them a good watering afterwards. And now we have a nice display piece.